The origins of games come from gameplay. When Tetris and Galaxy Wars released back in 19 god knows when, there was no story. It was just you, the controller, and the challenge. I don't like people who play games just for the story. Like, bro, if you're not gonna at least choose Hardened on Black Ops' campaign, then fuck out of here, boy! Gameplay is the origin of games. I remind you of this so you don't get confused on the game pyramid. Now, what's the game pyramid, you ask? Well, you see, when devs create the games, their games should have a focus that they don't stray far away from. Say you're the lead game developer of Celeste. Are you gonna really care about developing Theo's character or whoever the hell this dude is? No, you're gonna focus on all the flying and all the jumping and all the puzzles and the... Yeah, get me bro. On God, Nibba's gonna enable assist mode and breeze through the gameplay as if it doesn't even exist. The developers of Celeste obviously had the gameplay as the base of the game. Then came their amazing, artistic, beautiful soundtrack. Mm. Classic. Motivators aren't really fully fledged stories, they're just there to give you a reason. Like, hey, why do we really need to reach the summit of the mountain? It's because mainline and challenge yourself. Why is there a purple thing that really hates us and wants skills? It's because of the mirror, she, she's like, mainline Madeline. reflection or something? I, I don't really know. One really good example of this is Call of Duty's Zombies game mode. It started out as a cool side thing you can find when you finish World at War's campaign and people really liked it. So hey, it's at a game mode now, right? Money. In the beginning, zombies had four random nameless marines fighting endless hordes of zombies. Then four random characters became actual characters with name. Richtof and Dempsey, Nikolai and Takio were added. And if you want to find out about the characters' stories, you can find radios throughout the maps, which will tell you more about them and the dialogue of the characters, which also, by the way, created more fourth wall breaks, but that's the subject for another video. If you're hearing this, then it means that something's gone foobar. We're going to plan B. So I do not understand how or why. I believe you are, in fact, an enemy spy. <laughs> This wasn't how it was supposed to go. We were supposed to secure the package and be in and out clean. Wait! If someone's gotta take him out to save the universe, then it should be me that does it. But there's an actual story now, right? No. You can still play the game mode without knowing anything about this random radio side story, and the game will be just the same. This shifts the player's attention from story to gameplay and makes it the main focus. You see, you see that little top part of the pyramid? The pyramid... The, the pyramid... Pyramidian. Yeah, that's Zombie's story. When you play Deras and Dracha, you don't really think about terminating Dempsey's other self. We think about who's gonna grab the lightning bow first and when we're gonna start the easter egg because XX Game Boy 69 keeps downing. You also got developers placing story right after gameplay. Like Zelda Breath of the Wild, there is a cool ass story, but the top priority is the gameplay, that is the base. And the developers of Zelda just nailed that. The game starts and it's like, hey man, big beautiful epic world you can explore. You can like fight monsters, solve puzzles, oh hey, bored already by any chance, take this rune, magnesis thingy, oh and here's a paraglider thing, in case you wanted to fly around the map and explore. By the way, if you kill the beasts, each will give you a cool ass ability, and you get the point, they keep improving the gameplay and they hook you with it, it's the primary thing in this game, story is secondary, they don't really hook you in with the story. Some other games, however, are constructed with a joint gameplay plus story pyramid base. You got Nier Automata, for example, where the story is the main thing, but so is the gameplay. They're both the main focus, and they did a great job by producing great gameplay mechanics. 
A sad story that fucks your brains up and keeps you in bed for days. I still get PTSD from this game, man. And great music to go all with it. They really focused on both story and gameplay aspects and a masterpiece came out. Then you got Telltale games, which are quite nice, not gonna lie, you got The Wolf Among Us, Minecraft Story Mode Part 1 and 2, and I'm sure there are many great Telltale games that I still haven't experienced yet, but, and a big but here, okay? Are they really games or are they just a TV show where you get to move the character around? Hmm. Now these games value story first, that's the base of their pyramid. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what else has story in the base of their pyramids and asses? Movies and TV shows! Now I'm not saying that Telltale games are not games or anything, but like, you know, you know what I'm saying? One unique thing about Telltale games though, is that you get to make choices. Hmm, interesting. Now these choices actually affect the world, unlike other linear story games where you just follow a path given to you. Now I've said before that linear story games are TV shows, but more interactive. Story games are basically a TV show, except they're a teensy bit more interactive. They're games. And I made it clear that they still qualify as games. They're games. Telltale games, man, like the pingies. If the pyramid base don't got the gameplay, then I don't really know, man. I would say they're somewhere in between. I don't really think they're games nor TV shows. They're in the middle, and that's cool and all, but man, excuse me, all the gameplay you got is Smash 8 till your controller breaks down like- Hello guys, today we're gonna be shredding the competition in The Wolf Among Us using the brand new PlayStation 5 controller. We're gonna be reviewing it and seeing how much it can take. guys can see this is the before and this is the after we completely shredded the cute beautiful amazing this controller 10 out of 10 best controller i've ever tried in my whole ass life telltale games do deserve some credit though because even though the story is the base of the pyramid and the pyramid has no gameplay at all like where the fuck is the gameplay the story is the gameplay in disguise, ladies and gentlemen. How's that for a plot twist? When you progress through The Wolf Among Us, for example, you are usually given normal linear cutscenes. Now, we don't care about them playing bad, bad cutscenes, right? You know, decision making cutscenes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm all about, ladies and gentlemen. Having two seconds to decide whether you want to kill the shitty Twiddle brothers or not, and whether this risky action will come and haunt you later, which it actually does. That influencing decision that you have to make is the gameplay. It is the challenge. This type of gameplay will make the player feel like he or she is the main character. You play the game in your style. Whether you want to play like a racist, brute sheriff and destroy everything that walks in front of you The United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, am I right or am I right? Or if you want to be a sympathetic, fair sheriff who saves the people and always has them on his side Telltale Games offer you these choices and they actually hit you back with consequences Your actions will have reactions You are Big B Wolf Yo, you're a furry? Yo, I kinda like furries, man Story and gameplay both add different aspects to the game. The story adds emotional attachment and it touches the player. Yo, wait, touch the player. Near do be doing some things to me do. <laughs> Meanwhile, the gameplay always adds a fun challenge, whether it be Dark Souls, Lord have mercy, or Celeste, which isn't that challenging, you know, it's like kinda easy, you know, of course, you know, of course, of course. Now this fun challenge is the origin of games, ladies and gentlemen. 
When these two aspects of a game are taken into recognition, gameplay and story, and they are combined, masterpieces are fucking produced. All the games I've mentioned this far are just... Ah, uh, man, they're just... And as the CEO of Microsoft, Reggie says, The, the game, game is fun. fun. The, the game, game is, is a battle. battle. If, if it's, it's not, not fun, fun why, why bother? bother?